Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try the middle of the night by the vamps. I'm going to do it two different ways. I'll show you an easy way in a moment. So here's, uh, here's what the original would be like. Uh, let's see. That's that, that line in the song, the, uh, the lead part that uh, that's pretty cool. Um, what I'm doing is I'm playing the first string fifth fret and I'm hammering to the seventh fret. Then I'm sliding immediately up to the 10th fret and then pulling off back to the 7th fret. It's pretty hard. You know, it takes a little practice, that's all. And then what you do is you do the same exact thing on the 2nd string. So, 5th fret, hammer 7, slide up to 10, and pull off back to 7. But that one you do three times in a row. So the first one, you only do it once. This one. On the second string, you do three times. And that'll get you that line, that lead line in the song that comes back. It's in the intro and it comes back later on in the song. Uh, that's all you need for that. And uh, basically, you do the same thing when you put the capo on. We're going to try it with a capo later. All right, so <clears throat> you're going to need a G chord. The progression, like behind this, and the progression for the whole song is just a G, and then you're going to go to a B minor, and then to an A, and that's going to get two measures. Okay? So. That's that lead line that I'm singing off key there. So, uh, G chord, you could do the sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, second string, and first string, third fret, that could be your G chord. Uh, B minor, bar the 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret, 4th string and 3rd string at the 4th fret. Don't worry, we'll show you an easier way in a moment. That's your B minor, and then an A chord is the 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 2nd fret. And those are your 3 chords and what you could use for strums. You could just, you know, hit it once, and then the A would get to like, like 4 beats a piece, you know. Uh, when the words come in, it sounds something like... So down, 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 next chord, down, down, down. I'm going to do this one for two measures, so we get six instead of three. Uh, you could do that. Um, you could, when the middle of the night part comes in, uh, you could do... Uh, like that'll do and um, that's really all you need for the uh, be in the original key uh, and then if you take a capo and you put it at the second fret uh, the lead line doesn't really uh, change uh, there'll be a link you can see I keep looking to my left I've written it all out and um, when you do the capo at the second fret it's basically it's the same thing because you're not using open strings you can think of it like at the 5 and 7 and 10 and 7th fret but you know, it's on the tab I wrote uh, three because uh, I think I did anyway. Yeah. So it's it's three frets away from the capo. So, but in real, you know, in the real world, it's still your fifth fret. So you could think of it the same way. So your um, so the easy way is same thing. Okay. But the chords change, so now it's an F chord, so you could just use an F, so 2nd string, 1st fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 3rd fret. Um, you can do the, that very small F, any F will do, this F, this F, if you want to get into a bar chord. You could do the small F and wrap your thumb around the 6th string 1st fret. Okay, Any F will do, but that small one is fine. And then an A minor you're going to need. 2nd string 1st fret, 4th string 3rd string 2nd fret. Okay, you can use that A minor. And then a G chord, which we've already gone over earlier in the song, so you don't need that one again. So, the rhythm, when the words come in, is like down, this is the F chord, down, 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 A 
minor, same thing. Then the G, that gets two patterns. F, D minor, G. At some point in the song, you know, there's another, I don't know if it's a pre-chorus or what. I didn't really bother with that, but, because it's the same progression, just different strums. You could do them each once. That works pretty well for the intro, too. Uh, when the middle of the night part comes in, the F, the A minor, to the G, twice. Could use that, I just changed it to a different strum, but uh, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So F to the A minor, and then the G would get two of those. Um, what I did on the G there just you know, what I did because it was two measures I did. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So I'll try that way. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. You could use that too. Oh, I just came up with that one. <laughs> um, I didn't invent it. All right. Any questions about the middle of the night? Down below. And uh, hit the like button. Play more guitar. Please subscribe. All that stuff. <laughs>